All right, so uh, I'm gonna be putting up some new rabbit cages over here. Right now our rabbit cages are up at our barn. We're gonna be doing some work on our barn here in the next couple of months. And uh, the rabbits are hanging right off the wall. And I need to remove those walls. So I need to put those rabbits somewhere else. So for now, this is gonna be temporary, but it's gonna be kind of temporary slash permanent until we eventually build a rabbit like house. But right now what we're gonna do is just put a couple four by fours in the ground, make a platform and hang all the rabbit cages off of that. So they're off the ground. They're not, you know, they're not in some hutch. They're just gonna be hanging. And I think I'm gonna like that better. We're gonna have a water source over here. We also have, since we're at the shop, we're gonna have, you know, actual hose. So it's gonna be a lot easier to fill up their water and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I think it'll, it'll turn out pretty well. So the plan is, to sink a couple four by fours uh, right here. So like one there, one there, one there, and then one over there, then, then one here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep them about a foot off the wall so we can have access back there. And then they're gonna, you know, the rabbit cages are about 30 inches. So they're gonna be basically right here hanging. So I got a bunch of four by fours laying around here from uh, an old uh, deer stand I took down. And uh, I'm just gonna pretty much upcycle everything I have on, on the farm. I'm not gonna buy any wood for this. I'm gonna try not to buy any wood for this. And uh, well, we're just gonna get started here. We're gonna drill a couple holes. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm not looking to get this perfectly plumb or anything like that. It's just uh, some rabbit cages, but uh, we'll do our best to, to make it look good. My objective is to make sure that this is high enough so I can walk under it. What we're going to do is put four of these in here. We're going to run a 2x6 across each one of these. And then we're going to run a couple boards across this way for the hanging, uh, hanging the cages. But again, I need to be able to walk under this. I don't need to be ducking just to, just to walk through here.
Put a line level on there and uh, that's good enough for me. It's not perfect, but I don't really feel like drilling a bunch of screw holes in here. So it's, like I said, it's pretty close. So we're gonna use that as our, as our marker and then uh, kind of just go ahead and get these up. I mean, that's, that's pretty level now I'm not a carpenter so somebody please explain to me the right way to do that in the comments I really don't know like what I'm doing as far as building stuff uh, I know how to put stuff together but as far as doing it the proper way no clue All right, starting to come along. So that's pretty much as far as the posts for holding the rabbit cages up. We're gonna run a couple two by four, uh, I guess you call them uh, stringers or something, but like one right here and then one uh, about 30 inches in. So I'm gonna have them overhang a little bit so we can hang the cages off the sides as well. And then uh, we're gonna put in a, uh, we might put in three more posts and those posts will go right here one will go right there 
one here and one here and that's just to hold the water barrel up i'm still trying to figure that one out but we'll see that's going to go in last anyways so i think we're going to get some two by fours now and then uh kind of run them up do some do some math real quick and figure out how far these are apart Board split. I'm gonna have to sister that one up. Ugh. Here's new. All right, so changing plans. We're gonna go uh, vertical on the boards here. It's gonna be a lot stronger. It was a little bit wavy, kind of like, you know, bendy. This way it's it's nothing. So I'll just toenail them in there and uh, should, should, should work out just fine. So we're gonna do that. Let me get a ladder. And then uh, I think I got a couple cages. I think I can start hanging up a couple, kind of get the spacing, figure that out. The cages are going to hang about this high to here. We don't want them, we don't want them too high. All right, so I went ahead and set uh, three more posts, like I talked about in the beginning, and that's going to be for the water. It's going to hold a 50, 55-gallon uh, drum. I'm rinsing that one out right now. Food grade, by the way. And uh, I'm going to turn the tops of these whenever uh, I, get, I get done. But basically, cages are going to sit about the tops will probably be here and the bottoms will probably be where that string is so i'm going to have this water sit about six inches higher at the bottom of it and we're going to have some pvc pipe running along the back okay so we got to prep these cages and uh, what we're going to do is put some, some feeders on here i like these little uh these feeders they're pretty easy to, to use and, and whatnot and uh, they don't hold a ton of food but they hold enough food for about four or five days so for one rabbit Let's go ahead and put these on here. They're really simple. You just need to find out where you want them in there. And put them in. Just like that. Really simple. Feed from the out, feed from the outside. They eat from the inside. Next, what we're gonna do is bait is uh, kit proof some of these. Um, we don't need to do all of them because they're gonna be touching each other. So just basically every other one. What we're gonna do here is run some hardware cloth about three of these blocks up, all the way around the entire thing. And the reason we're doing that is because if you have if a mother gives birth in here, the babies are small enough to slide right out of here and they'll fall on the ground and, and you know eventually die if you don't get them fast enough. But time consuming and uh, these, these are sharp, so if you're using um, you know, gloves would be probably good to have, especially if this is uh, used or old and it has like chicken feces or something on it, you definitely want to use gloves because if you stab yourself with one of these and it happened to have some uh, feces on it, you'll get an infection and I had to have me once and my whole arm sw swelled up. It's pretty bad. So just uh, protect yourself. Pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it. At first these things are a little bit of a pain, especially if you have like rabbits in here and this is already hanging or on the wall somewhere. You want to have it um, 
you want to do this like now as opposed to then because it's just it's much easier more comfortable so when you do these it's pretty easy you just kind of grab the j-clip i like to put the top piece in there like this so it's like a the opposite of a j and then just take it line up your stuff and just put it in there try that again All right, we're at the point where we can start installing these. I'm gonna hang one on the end here and work my way that way. That way I make sure I have enough room for, uh, for the water at the end. And then uh, I'm gonna temporarily install this with just some string. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the PVC and run the, all the PVC pipe first so I, you know, I can do that unobstructed without the cages in the way. And then we'll go ahead and install the rest of the cages that way. So that's about the height I want it. So as you can see, it's... Uh, all the weight's going to be resting on those bars instead of the cages and i'm going to have quite a few of those holding it up i just got to fine tune it and level it out and i got to figure out a way to connect these to the bar instead of wrapping around the bar because this chain link uh, is a bit a bit too thick so i'm thinking about drilling a hole in here and putting an eye bolt in like an actual eye bolt with a with a, a nut on the end of it to hold this up a little bit better that's probably the way we'll go with this. And it could be anywhere in here, it doesn't matter really. And then we're gonna rest the other ones onto here as well. You'll see, it'll come together a little bit better as, as we're doing it, but right now we're gonna do this water system. I'm using these rabbit water nipples from Amazon. They're like, uh, they're cheap. They're like 50 cents each. So it's like you get um, 20 of them for 10 bucks. And this is how they work. So you drill a hole and this hole is three eighths in. So I, I tested it out. So you always wanna obviously test this out before you, uh, before you, um, before you install it into your main one, just to, just to make sure you can get your, your drill speed correct and, and everything. So I got my drill speed set to one on drill just so if you go too fast this is what happens you get a little chip out right there and that's why I, that's why i always test it before uh, this is also what it looks like on the inside so you have an idea so this is a rabbit comes up does this opens water comes out easy right use a thicker walled pvc as well they make thin wall don't use that stuff it's uh it just breaks so just wanted to show you guys like what i'm doing here i'm gonna go out there and start drilling some holes Okay, so one thing uh, you're gonna want we want to do whenever you install PVC like this and there's no backing, if you go to drill, it's just gonna bounce around a lot like that. So it's like either you drill it in a vise before you put it up, or you put a board behind it, or you make a jig. So I made a little jig, very simple, just a couple two by sixes screwed together. It's gonna sit in here like this, and all it's gonna do is allow me to have some pressure on here to drill this hole, just like so. Switch it around. Just like that. So I'm doing my holes 30 inches, 30 inches on center and offset a little bit so that if uh, there's two rabbits in here, they can, you know, one come this way, one come this way. So you want to obviously as parallel as possible or perpendicular as possible with the um, 
or yeah, as flat as possible with, with the cages because if they're sticking up, it's going to be hard for them to drink out of and so on. And then we might have to move the cages a little bit to get these kind of adjustments, but it's pretty easy. I'm going to drill the rest of these holes. Like I said, 30 inches on center. Cages are 30 inches wide. Pretty simple. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to install these uh, water nipples. They're fairly easy. They're not the best design, but uh, they work out pretty well. So they're like circular as far as uh, you can't put a socket on there. I've tried many different kinds and uh, you just can't. So it would have been nice if they had a hex head on here of some sort. So I just be able to throw a socket on here like a deep well socket and put it on real easily, but you can't. So you can use Teflon, but in my experience, I've used these before, you don't need them. So what you do is you just kind of get it started by hand. You take a pair of pliers, some, some similar to this, and you just kind of grab on. And you kind of just tighten them up. Now, if you grab onto those little teeth on the, the ridge that I was showing you where I think the hex head should go, uh, you'll just destroy them. So I just grab onto the, to the, to the barrel, I guess, the actual nipple part, and then do it. You'll scratch it up a little bit, but you're not going to destroy this stuff. So if you ever need to get it off, you might, you might need those. And just tighten it up until it's tightened. Takes a, it takes a bit, but much easier if you don't have two rails like this either, because this rail's in my way. Perfect. All right, so you can see, like, that's the basic gist of it. So right now, the, 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 these uh, chain links, they're kind of just holding the, holding the cage up on the cage and not on this. So my idea is to have the bar hold up the cages and the, the wire to hold up the, the bar. I don't, because this, this will just stretch out. So what, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to replace these. Actually, I, I don't like the chain link idea. It was, was all right. It was like, you know, it was like 50 cents a foot or whatever, but... No big deal. Um, I'm just gonna get some some uh, some lanyards. I have the the kit to do it. I just can't find my my wire. So what I'll do is I'll just since this is level up here, and we want this to be lower because my wife just came out here and checked it out and it's kind of too high for her. So we'll take a lanyard. We'll wrap it around here, and then up there, and it'll be it'll be pretty easy to go. All right. So here's everything I need: the cable, ferrules. And some, some D clips, I guess it's quick links, whatever these are called. So the way I'm going to make this is basically it's just going to be two loops and then a line uh, between that. So a loop, loop, and a line. It's going to be 20 inches total or thereabouts. I pretty much have to make all these exactly the same uh, to make this work right. So we're going to get started on that and see how it goes. Now, one thing to note is I went to Lowe's to get some of these, and these are $1.99 each at Lowe's. I need about 20 of them. That would cost me $40 for what I need, and then I probably have to get extras just in case I mess up. Now, I went on Amazon, and I got 120 of these for 8 bucks. So, you know, just saying. And these, these, these wires do fray at the end, so if you have to get a clean cut, get a pair of like dikes or bolt cutters or something. Uh, these fancy cutters right here, I'm going to use these to cut. They're pretty sharp. They cut very well. I want a little bit of slack. So the, that's what we're dealing with, something like that, okay? I'm going to get my 
crimpers, put them on here, crimp this down. on this thing it's probably best that if you're not that very strong <laughs> is to get some leverage against the table or something like that I'm sure you a little trick here oh, I just learned um, if you don't have a lot of hand strength on these things they're very hard to like you know like crimp down a piece of metal just with one hand or two hands so what you want to do is uh, you put your uh, your ferrule in here and then you put it on a, on a table or something like this and just push down on it with, with your body weight. So, you know, put it where you need it and then just push down and you get a really good crimp. We just finished making the, the rest of our lanyards. So I got nine here, one of them's out there kinda making sure it was the right size. And here they are. They, they're all exactly the same size, which is perfect. And uh, just a, a little word of advice too, if you're going to the store and buying this stuff at the store or Amazon or wherever you're buying it from, always buy extra. Like, you don't wanna, the worst thing is, especially on Amazon, if you buy something and you need a couple more, you have to wait a few days for it to get delivered. Or hardware store, say you decide to do your, your projects on the weekends like me, uh, a lot of times they're not open, so you know you don't want to have to wait some money to go get it and then wait an entire week to, to to finish your project, which has happened to me quite a few times. So, word of advice: try to buy a double or extra, however you want to do it. I like to buy double. So if I need like PVC, for instance, if I need like like four elbows, I'll buy just a ten pack. Or I like to buy things in ten packs because you save, you know. And then also it's just PVC is good to have around. This cable, good to have around. Ferrules, I, I mean, look how small this bag is. I'll put this in a Ziploc bag and throw it in, in a drawer somewhere, and I have it forever. And I'll, I'll probably never use all these, but at least I have them in case I need them again. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So the weight's being held by this bar, this uh, EMT, three, three quarter inch, and then it goes up to these um, eye bolts, the D hook and then the eye bolts. So, Right now, it's, it's level this way. You know, you look at it, level enough. And then, but this way you look at it, and it's off, which is fine, but I'm gonna fix it. So the way I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna show you a couple things. So the reason I have these hooks, these eye bolts like this, is to keep it off here so I could have this water rail not being crushed up against this, this cage. If it, was, if it was here, it would be f further back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ch change these out to here and make it to where it's perfectly level. And I can do that by just loosening it up and, and kind of going with it. And I'll do that as needed. So I think it's going to turn out pretty well. I can put roughly four per cage and um, or four per rail, maybe three and three and a half. But yeah, we'll get it down. This is gonna turn out pretty well, I think. All right, so we figured it out pretty easy. Just kind of make them the same, pretty much, and it's it's very easy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of get uh, get the rest of these hung up. Oh, 
Okay, so uh, got them all in here for now. I'm gonna work on the getting these other two cages hung, and then uh, right now they're all just kind of hanging out here, eating some clover. Well, some of them are, some of them aren't. And I'll have two more cages. So the plan is, all of these guys are gonna get their own cage. These guys are gonna get slaughtered, slaughtered. So there's two cages here, and then we have two more cages. Perfect. Something like that to hold it in place so it doesn't roll around. They're pretty easy. Kind of looks a little janky, but we're all about function here, not form. I think it'll be perfect. And then what I'll do is I'll probably just take a strap and wrap it around it so the wind doesn't blow it away. Oh, you can see uh, how it's set up. It's not gonna wiggle around too much. What I'll do is uh, put a strap around it. I'm pretty sure it won't go anywhere. I got it level. I, don't, I was gonna, originally gonna have it leaning a little bit but I don't think that that's necessary with the amount of water that's gonna be in here and the pressure. So, as you can see, this is how it's gonna go. And then uh, we'll get the rest of this going, show you how it's done. I ended up getting one of these. Now this is uh, basically replaces this. So it's the same size, it threads right on there. So I just, I'm gonna attach a half inch hose and what this is gonna do is, is gonna run to my PVC over here. And that's how I'm gonna get water to this bar. And then it has a sh shut off valve if you need to, whatever, for whatever reason you need to shut it off. So, alternatively, you can just keep this, drill a hole in here, and put a fitting such as this into here and probably save you. This is about 20 bucks, 25 bucks on Amazon. Uh, if you want a cleaner look, I'd recommend doing this. So, this is going to be like this. We're going to just. Thread it on. It comes with some extra washers or rubber, uh, uh, like um, O-rings, in case you need them. Don't really know if you'll need them. Uh, I don't know if, if that needs to be tighter than that. I'll put a wrench on there if I need to. I want to fill the water from up here, and then we'll kind of get an idea of how this, if it leaks or not. If it does and this needs to be pointed sideways, that's fine. As long as the water level's above this, it's gonna be, it's gonna work out pretty well. I have a, a ball valve and the, the purpose of this is I'm gonna put it back down here and have a way to clean out if I need to, or uh, have a way to have like a small little drip come in just so the water's moving and it's not gonna freeze. It doesn't freeze too often here, I'm in Tennessee, but in some places, you know, this might be necessary. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And then I got just a, um, a screw-on uh, fitting here. That way it doesn't, uh, if I need to reuse it, I don't have to waste it. So 
just gonna cut down here. Doesn't really matter where. This was off my previous water. So what this is, is a brass fitting that goes to a half inch like flex tube that's on a, a coupler that has a threaded outlet and a slip on the other side. So I'm basically just gonna reuse this, put it right here call it, and call it a day. So I'll just cut this right about here. Hooked up. Gotta get a clamp there and a clamp there. I'd like to have a little bit more on this barb, but I think it'll be okay for now. Okay, so it's uh, it's working pretty well. I got a leak here. Uh, it's the leaks up here. It's coming down because this isn't um, clamped. I had to tighten this up one whole whole revolution. Also, um, the tighter this is, the the least flow because there's no air in the system. So if you loosen up the top, it'll start to really flow. It's already full right now, but if uh, just a little tip. And then I went along and I had to I had to put Teflon tape on all these because they were. They were messing up, they were leaking. So anyways, I went ahead and just wired them all up to the cages so that they're not floating. And it's working out. I only have like two that are leaking and it's the ones that I had to put silicone on. So I gotta redo that somehow or just replace these, which I can do later. I'm not too concerned with it right now. These rabbits need water. They've been, you know, without water for a few hours. But it turned out pretty well. Got everything uh, done. Hey. So rabbits are pretty good. I got their boards in there. And uh, they're looking pretty good. Got a couple more adjustments to make on these, uh, these hooks. These, uh, I gotta put a couple more of these up in a few strategic places. They're holding up pretty well. I need some on the ends here. I just kind of threw them up here. They're not really holding anything. They're loose. This is all being held up by those bars. And uh, this is holding up pretty good. Not worried about it going anywhere. Anyways, if you like these type of videos, uh, hit, hit, a like, hit the like button for us and uh, leave a comment if you, if you think we could have done something better. Also, um, if anyone knows where to get these type of latches at, these awesome, super easy latches, let us know because I cannot find these anywhere. Right now we're using like these things and they're garbage. You just, like you pop it off and then the hook falls off. Oh, and then it falls on the ground, you can't find it. So anyways, thanks for watching.